Hello everybody, welcome to FIF TV, it's me Dom, I'm just outside the Stadio Olimpico after one of the greatest Champions League nights in the history of the Champions League and the European Cup. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, you'll see that I said this is the greatest game I've ever been to and I stand by that, it was absolutely electric from start to finish. Um, the fans clearly believed that Roma could do this. Di Francesco said yesterday that he was going to go out there and, and basically set his team out to, to win and try, and try and come back from a 4-1 deficit in the first leg, which kind of showed immense belief on his part um, to try and do that. And then when, when today you had er, earlier on kind of the, the first kind of rumblings of formations and things that were going to come out and he's playing three, basically 3-4-3. Three, three. So he, he went for it. He, he was look, look, all the indications were that it wasn't just going to settle for right 4-1 the first leg we're out um, we're going to go for it and why my first thought was that way well that that's kind of going to go one or two ways it's either going to work brilliantly or they're going to get absolutely thrashed and it worked brilliantly it was fantastic barcelona were not in this game at all apart from say the last two minutes when Roma, after the Roma got the winning goal, they, they, they sat back and, and allowed Barcelona onto them. That, that was all Barcelona had, was when Roma allowed them to play. For the entirety of that game, Roma pressed Barcelona high up the park with Dzeko and Sheik and Nainggolan especially. Nainggolan was fantastic at the at pressing um, the, 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 the Barcelona players, so they didn't have any time on the ball at all. And it was brilliant. Dzeko had his best game ever in a Roma shirt. It was amazing. It was, it was honestly one of the, the, the greatest things to watch, Eden Dzeko, when he's playing like that. Um, and at the back, the, 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 way that, the way that they managed to do this, they had um, that, that kind of pressing game and that meant that Ter Stegen was just lumping balls forward. And when you're lumping balls forward to Messi and Suarez and they're coming up against um, Manolas and Federico Fazio, they had absolutely no chance. And, and the Roma defenders just batted everything away with, with, with ease almost. Juan Jesus looked like a, a quality footballer and that's kind of saying everything. Um, and, and, and on the wings as well, Florenzi uh, on, on the, the right side just dominated Jordi Alba. He was getting crosses in, it was, it was brilliant to watch. And then on the left side, Kolarov, who's 100 years old, was doing exactly the same. It was amazing. Um, and obviously you've seen the video we put up on the Forza Italian Football um, Twitter feed of the full-time whistle and the place just went crazy. It was, it, was really, it was really difficult to kind of not be kind of taken up in all the emotions of it. It was, it was honestly one of the most amazing things I've ever had the privilege of or ever seen in football in my entire career. It was brilliant. Roma deserve a lot of credit. Di Francesco deserves all the credit for this. The way that he didn't give up he instilled a belief in his players that they could do this the early goal certainly helped but the way he set up that team and everything he did to, to give his team the, the, the best possible chance of getting the victory he did brilliantly it was, it was great it was fantastic he said he wants Roma to go to the Champions League final and if, if you're being honest if they play like this then then who says why not they, they were in a group with Chelsea and Atletico nobody gave them a hope and they topped the group, a tricky tie against Shakhtar and then doing this against Barcelona, it was absolutely brilliant and amazing. Um, really you can't say much more than that, it was fantastic. So there you go, that's me from the Stadio Olimpico. I'm away down to the Piazza del Popolo because Jim Pelota has just jumped in the fountain so I'm going to go and see if I can catch him down there. Um, so until next time, there is nothing left for me to say apart from Arrivederci.